Master's channel again. How was your Christmas going? Did you have a nice celebration? Because the New Year's coming, and I suppose most of you guys are in holiday right now. So today I'm going to talk about something more fun, which is holidays in China and Austria. And first, I'm going to talk about public holidays. So I have done some research about the public holidays in Austria. Totally, there are about 13 holidays per year. And what I found is very interesting is these 14 public holidays are including Christmas and Easter and about these kind of important holidays and also some days of the saints and so on, which is some uh, Christian holidays. And also there are some regional holidays, which is only celebrated in some of the cities. So especially only in Vienna celebrated or in Vienna have a day off or in Salzburg. I found this is quite interesting because for me, Austria is a relatively small country and even in different cities, they will have their regional holiday, which for me is quite surprising. And in China, we have about 11 holidays each year as public holiday, which is including the very important festivals like Spring Festival, Dragon Ball Festival, Qingming Festival, and uh, Labor Day and the National Day. The system of public holidays in China is actually very different from Austria because in Austria, most of the holidays are only have one day off. And if you want to extend your holidays, you, you will need to use your uh, annual leaves to make your holiday longer. But in China, we have another system. We have the same calendar for all the holidays. So it, which means we have a um, department of the government which arrange all the holidays all together and uh, most of the people who work in China who follow this calendar to have their holidays, especially uh, public holidays. So for the important public holidays, as I introduced before, Spring Festival and the national holiday, which are so-called the golden weeks, we will have about seven days off normally. But what makes these seven days interesting is after or before this seven days holiday, you will have to work in weekends. So, which means this seven days holiday are not real pure holiday, but some kind of uh, assembled holiday. So if you have business partners or some corporations with Chinese companies or your Chinese subsidiaries, please pay attention to when they will really have their holiday or when they will be working because the calendar is fixed so you can very easily to find information online in case you have something in emergency but they are in holidays and the next things is annual leaves in Austria there is a year line which is 25 years if you have been working less than 25 years you will have 25 days per year as annual leave but if you are already working longer then you will have 30 days per year. Actually, it's pretty a lot, actually. And in China, we have a much, much more complicated system, which is if you are new graduated, so the first year you won't have any annual leave. So year first, zero. And then from the second year to the 10th year, you will have five days off, no, five days off per year. And if you have been, and from 10 to 20 years, you will have 15 days. All of these numbers I just talked about is based on our labor law, which means in every company, there are some differences. Um, for example, I have been working in a company which will have Christmas off and also Easter off. What I find interesting in between holidays in China and Austria is um, normally in China, the whole year the business are running. So there is no break time in between, even though there are holidays. Um, yeah, but there's one exception, which is uh, Spring Festival. So the first day of the Spring Festival until the third day. So these three days, after these three days, and all the businesses and shops and everything will be refunctioning again. But in Austria, it's 
anytime when there is a holiday, everything stops. That's what I find is really, really interesting. Thank you so much for this week. I hope you enjoy. We will see each other again next year. So I wish all of you all the best for the new year and have a nice celebration. If you haven't been working for photo, for annual leaves, we have a relatively com complicated five like year, 25 years. Oh, I don't know what to talk already after one week break. Ah. 30 days. <laughs>